Yeah. 
mercy that our heads are bowed and hearts pray. Gracious and heavenly Father, yes, Lord. we come because thou was the one to thank you, dear God. Thank you, thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank you. Father, we just thank you for all your great Thank you. Mercy thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Most of all, we thank you for the sinners. Yes, about Lord. About the gift that was thank given. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. With the cross of Calvary. Yes, 2,000 Lord. years thank ago. Thank you. Lord, we just thank you, dear God, that we thank have you, Lord. blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for your love for the church and the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for our family, your love, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our visiting friends. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the pastor of the church, your God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you, dear God, for the cross of the church. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For the world as a whole. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, dear God. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You have a God to glorify. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We just thank you for the blood. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. 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 Yes, Lord.
According to our worship, we can have a new outline. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now that you know that he's all right, I need for you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, all you got to do is ask the Lord to do it for you. Anybody need something from the Lord this morning?
If you're waiting on a healing, you want to open up your mouth and praise him in advance. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. All you got to do is praise him now. against 
Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Lord, have mercy upon us, and right we fall.
say that probably all mature thinking individual upon the face of the earth has heard about God. Yes, sir. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Your brother that you've been trying to get to church for 20 years ain't got there yet. Your sister, your son, your daughter, even though they're not in this church, they have heard about God. Yes. Even if they heard about him through you. But they have heard about God. And whether they have read about it, someone told them about it, or whether they have experienced it, experienced him for themselves. Because a lot of times they don't take coming to church. Don't know about you, but most people come to church after they had an experience with the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't come to get Jesus' help. You come here to bring it with you. You come to tell somebody that God has been good yeah. to me yeah. all the time. Yeah. When I didn't even know he knew me, yes. he brought me through. Yes. He brought me out. Yes. When I didn't know how I was going to get out of that trouble, yes, Lord. he brought me out. Thank you, Jesus. I was working with my child, he brought me out. Yes. So I come to tell somebody yes, Lord. that God is good Thank you. all the time. Thank you, Lord. And all the time, yes. God is good. Let me tell you something about God. From the beginning of creation, he has been the same God. Yes, Lord. People change. Spouses change. Yes, Lord. Even our children change. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. One time back, the children sit real close to the parent mama said, get close, get close, because he put the bad one close to him now. Now what wouldn't mean I was a brother before me, I was second to because she knows that while service is going on, somebody's going to open their mouth or do something they ain't got no business doing. And then older folks had a way of pinching you. It's almost like a shock. You know? yes. Like electricity go through your body. Or they pinching your whole body out. And it doesn't shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah. That's what we used to do. You better not do that to me, bitch. What's wrong right with your mouth? Let me move from by you, Mom, because I think something's wrong. Right. But they change. I don't know why, but God don't change. 
He's the same God that was last year. He's the same God this year. He was the same God last month. He's the same God this month. He was the same God yesterday. He's the same God today. And I want you to know that he's the same God for tomorrow. He's the same God for the years to come. Same God who instructed Moses over 3,000 years as to how to lead his people and what to say to his people. He's the same God who called them Frazier. And now, I believe my seventh charge in 21 years, call me to preach the gospel and lead the people of his church. Yes. Same God told Moses, go down. Same God who went down to Egypt land after 400 years, imagine that, of captivity. Same God tell Moses, go down and tell Pharaoh to let my people Jesus. go. Yes, Lord. Same God. Yes. Same God who we experience these days in our social life who are trying to be depressed or oppressed by what's called Christian nationalists. Mind you now, the first word is Christian nationalists or nationalism. Let me tell you what that is. That means that there are people, according to the persuasion and now the boost of our convicted president, Donald Trump, people who wants to go back to the old Christian. I know when we talk about that in our black church, we know we're talking about prosperous thing that the elders teach us. But that's not what the Christian nationalists are talking about. The Christian nationalists are themselves people who march on Charleston on that day when those people got, in Virginia, uh, uh, those people got killed. Christian nationalists are people who wants to take us back to the old years, yeah. the old years of the Anglo-Saxon. If you don't know what that means, the Europeans being in charge. In other words, taking us back to slavery yeah. so that we do what Martha say do. Now, you may not think that's true, but you listen to what Donald Trump is saying and listen to what his followers is saying. They want to take you back to the old school. Yeah. But I thank God for even way back yonder in the 1800s, there were persons like Richard Allen, Charles White, Absalom Jones, who went to the altar and kneeled down to pray with the Christians. And they said, no, 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 no. You, you can't do that now. No, no. See, you got to wait till we pray. And then you can come back and hold <clears throat> and pray somewhere, but you can't pray with us. Us, because we are the true Christians. Yes, sir. Thank God there were men like him who rose up yes. and said, that's all right. Yes. Same God you serve, yes. same God yes. we serve. Yes. We're going to pull out of Bethel. Yes. And they went and they established the AME Church. Yes. You see, God never changes. But man will always change. It would be amazing to try to understand a phantom what is going on in our country today. First president in the history of the United States to be convicted of a felony. 34 counts. Now, I don't know about you, but many of us sat right there and said, well, I know one thing. There are 12 Jews. And one in them, at least one of them in there, got to be a trumpet. But you know what? God is God. Amen. God Amen. is powerful in Donald Trump. Yes. He is yes. powerful in me. Yes. He is powerful in you. Yes. And they deliberated for a short period of time yes. and came back with a guilty verdict for all 34, not 33, yes. not 24, but 34 counts. That's God. Because see, what God is doing, we don't understand. God is already writing the way for his people. 
You see, we anticipate, but God walks way ahead of us. Yes. And he knows what's to come. Yes. He's always getting ready for anybody yes. who wants to come up against us. Mm -hmm. That's why it was that same Moses who led God's people yeah. to the Red Sea. Yeah. And they looked around and said, now see, we done come way out here. Yeah, Drug us all the way out of Egypt where we had fresh food, and fresh water, and a lot of bad liquor to drink. <laughs> now we ain't got nothing here. What a big old ocean of water. Moses, what wrong with you? Yeah, they had that too. That's why they say what they say. It's over drinking on the way. They ain't no, had no idea that was God was on the move. You know what Moses said to them? Moses got up on a big rock while they're standing on the edge of the ocean. And Moses got up and said, stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, today, June 2nd, in the year of our Lord, 2024, in the midst of all that's going on, and all that anticipated, talking about civil war and all that stuff, talking about folks going to go crazy now, and we got to run, heard somebody, we got to go back to Africa. I, don't, I ain't going back to Africa because I ain't come from Africa. I come from Sugar Hill. <laughs> that was Mama dear me, and I, I wasn't even in the hospital. Amen. So I know all y'all. I wasn't even born in the hospital. I'm from Jews. I ain't going back to Africa. So I'm going to do what God told Moses to do in the midst of all this despair. Right. I'm going to stand still. Right. Yeah. I'm going to stand still yeah. and see the salvation yes. of the Lord. Why? Lord. Because he saved me out of a lot of stuff yes. a long time ago. Yes, Lord. When I received him, yes. I was saved. Yes. So come what may, yes, Lord. from day to day, yes. I know that the Lord you, will Lord. take care Thank of you. me. Yes. Yes, Lord. So what shall we do about God? I tell you what, church, yes, we'll do what God tells us to do. Amen. You, need, you need to realize that in our lives, what causes us to pose that question that we have many other gods. It's not going to be a shouting sermon this morning. It's a teaching one. Yeah. And one for you to digest as to what's going on in your life today. Yeah. There's a lot going on in 2024. You wait until 2025 gets here. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. We need to realize that there are many so-called gods in our life. They, were, they, were, they had them then, and there are many so-called gods today. So our question is, what to do about God? Yes. You know, you got them little G's God, you know. Yeah, the little G's God. Yep, yeah. But the God that I serve, right. and the God that I hope you serve, mm -hmm. is a God who is the Alpha, yes. the beginning. Yes. He's a God yes. who is the Omega. Yes, Lord. He is the end. Yes, Lord. In the beginning, yes. God created the heaven and the earth. Yes. That's the first book and the first verse of Genesis. Yes, Lord. God created yes. the heaven and the earth. Yes, Lord. And, and he created you. Yes. And he created I. Yes. He did it in his own image. Thank and you, one thing but anybody who look like God or act like God in Jesus, you won't fail. Yes. You will not perish. Yes, Lord. God will take care of you. So what does it mean to serve him with all your heart, your soul, and your might? Peter says simply, it means for you to be sanctified. Right. Be sanctified. Lord. Pastor, I can't be sanctified. But don't, don't say what you can't be. Because first of all, it wasn't, it wasn't about you in the first place. Amen. God can have you to do whatever it is he wants you to do. Right. And if you really want to do it, you can do it. Yes, Lord. The Bible tells us. First Peter, it says, God, sanctify God in your heart and be ready always. My brother who asked the question this morning, he says, be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you with a reason of hope that is in you with meekness and fear when they ask you 
how are we going to get out of this? When they ask you, do you think that man can be president? The answer is, yes, he can. Will he be? I don't know. But he can. And he just might. Is that the end of the world? No. I just got through telling you who created the heaven and the earth. God created. Come what may from day to day, I want you to know that God is always, yes. not sometimes, yes. God is always yes. in control. Yes. Therefore, God is a spirit. Yes. And we that worship him, we must worship him always in spirit yes. and in truth. We must have the love of God in our hearts in order to serve him. Yes, Lord. We must love him down to our soul. Yes, what is our soul? Our soul is that day when you were born and God blew the breath of life in your body. Yes, Lord. And you became a living soul. Yes, Lord. That's who you are. Yes. Your soul that gave you life yes. through the breath of God. Yes, Lord. Who did it? God did it. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 5 and 3, 55 and 3 says, Incline your ears and come unto me. Yes. Hear, and your soul shall live. Yes, Lord. And I will make an everlasting covenant yes. with you, even the sure mercies of David. In other words, he promised David, and he fulfilled the promise, and he promised you. Yes, and to this point, he has fulfilled his promise. Yes, and God yes. will always fulfill yes, his Lord. promise. Yes. So when you get worried, and folks ask you what's going to happen, look at them, my brothers and sisters, and say to them, my soul belongs to God. Yes, Lord. I think my soul belongs to God. Can't nobody do anything to me. Can't nobody do anything for me. Can't nobody do anything with me if it is not the will of my God. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to know that my soul belongs to God. How do I serve him with all my might? Yes, you can. You can serve him. Isaiah 42 and 29 says, He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased their strength. Their strength. So no matter how it looks like, no matter how weak, it makes you at the knees. If you're going to fall down, fall down on your knees. And call on your God, the God of your salvation. I tell you what, he can save you. How do I know? Because he's already done it. This is a big order for us to rationalize. But it can be done. Thank you, Lord. It makes you scared. It makes you worry. Yes, Lord. But God is still in control. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 40 and 10 says, Fear thy life, for I am with thee. Yes. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Yes. That, that, that's a big thing. Right. Don't you be the, to come with me from dinner. Don't you be dismayed. He says, I am God. Yes, Who is God? He is the I am. I am what? I am. That I am. That I am. That I am. I'm the father for the fatherless. I'm the mother for the motherless. I'm the God that will feed you when you're hungry. I'm the God who clothes you when you're naked. I am that I am. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. He says, yea, I will uphold thee with my right hand. Yes, my right hand, God says, of righteousness. In other words, they may try to do you bad. They may try to turn you around. But God got you in his right hand. How many of you know God got you? Whatever it is you're going through, God got you. I say he got you in his right hand of righteousness. And one thing about him. God is able yes. to do all things yes, except fail. Yes. Every Christian believer yes, must strive to respect yes. and fulfill the commandments of God. Yes. It must be clear in our hearts and in our mind who God is. Yes. We must love God above anything and all things. Yes. We must also love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Yes. 
It is the very first commandment. Yes. And you hear it every Sunday. Yes, Lord. But it ought not be on Sunday. It ought to be at your kitchen table. Yes, it ought to be in your bathroom. Yes, Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Yes. With all thy heart. With all thy mind. With all thy soul. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is likened unto it. Yes, Lord. The proof is, thou shalt love thy neighbor yes. as thyself. Yes. Yes. On these two hangs all the law yes, Lord. and the prophets. Jesus. Yes. In my conclusion, there are many in the Bible yes. who are angry and have bitter complaints against God. Even the prophet. I told you Moses said, just kill me. Kill me because I know something's wrong. He wasn't the only one. There were other David thought he should have been killed when Nathan came to David about Bathsheba. Yes. David, what would you do mm -hmm. if a man had a thousand sheep mm -hmm. and the other man only had one? Mm -hmm. And that man with a thousand yes. took that one sheep away from that man. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have to do it because he had a thousand. David said, me? I'm kidding. I'll be cut for lack of better words. He said, I'll take him out. Nathan looked at him and said, well, David, you're the man. You're the man. See, David thought when he killed, when he put Uriah on the front line, that's Bathsheba's husband, thought when he put him on the front line and got him killed, he thought that was the end of the nosiness. Donald Trump thought when he gave Stormy 130. 130 on Monday. Some folk wouldn't tell mama behind 130. <laughs> Stormy 130. That would hide the problem. But God spoke to the jury. Say, go back and tell the judge. And tell Donald Trump. You the man. You the man. Stormy. Stormy day for you. It's a stormy day for you, man. <laughs> Wanna be stormy now. Oh, be careful what you do now, cause yes. a hundred thirty might keep your mouth shut. <laughs> the Lord will open your mouth right up again. <laughs> yeah. yes. God will make you tell on yourself. Yeah. And for the righteous sake, yes he will. <laughs> yes he will. He'll make you tell. Yeah. I wasn't gonna tell you this, but twenty years ago, I, if I do, I wouldn't start doing that. And it's been twenty leave, twenty with twenty of that. Leave that mess. Yeah, yeah. Like us, at times we felt that we were sometimes in a bad situation and God shouldn't have allowed us to stay there. Yes. There's a reason why God allows us sometimes to stay in hardship. Jesus. There's a reason why sometimes we get sick. You know, if you didn't get sick, you wouldn't go to the doctor. Right. Yeah. And if you went to the doctor, you, you wouldn't know that he had the right medicine. Yeah. And you know what? You wouldn't believe that he had the right medicine that you believe that he was inspired by God. To fix you the right portion. That yes. portion you got, it didn't come from the doctor. It came from God. Yes. Yes. He already had your medication yes. before you even got there. Yes, Lord. That's why the person who goes to the doctor one time is later always well, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I still feel the same. I just worry the worry the worry. Can you give me some medicine? Can you give me something for that? He said, I got just the right thing for you. He said, You ain't the only one that had like that. He said, Take one of these pills here every day. My baby said, Take two. She came back after a week. Dog, I tell you, all this time, I don't know what I was waiting on. You had that medicine all the time, I didn't even know. What the name of that medicine? God said, what number to show up? The medicine is in our head. A lot of times, stuff in our head, we forget who God is. Yes. We forget who God is. Yes. brought us out of 300 years of slavery. Yes. We forgot. Yes. Who yes, brought Lord. us to a very hour? Yes, we forgot yes. who brought us out of the cotton field, yes. out of the tobacco field. Yes. We forgot yes. how we got steak in our freezer now. Yes. We forgot that we had nothing but butts meat yes. and broken yes. meat. We forgot to. Yes. Uh, we forgot. I stopped by to tell you, know who did it? Yes. You know who did it? Yes. God did it. Yes. And if he did it yesterday, yes. he'll do it again tomorrow. Yes. He's a God that keeps doing it over and over again. So my warning to you and my conclusion is beware of those temptations that seek to steal the realization of the love of God in you. Some of those things are power.
Some of us like power, pleasure, money, beauty, popularity, and even family. And you know what? God wants us to have all of those things. But in having them, he wants you to always put him first. He will not be set. He said in his word. He said, I'm the Lord thy God. I'm a guilty God. I'll visit the iniquity of your children that are first and the third generation. Don't you forget who I am. Talk about you, your smart child and your child going to college. Let me tell you something. How you think you got that child in the first place? That's right. Amen. You say, I'm a jealous guy. Amen. I'm a jealous guy. Amen. Don't you put nobody, right. don't you put nothing Amen. in front of me. Amen. God is almighty. Yes. All by himself. Yes. Yes. God can yes. and God will yes. work it out yes, he will. to those yes, he will. who believe him yes. to be the truth. That's right. He'll work it out. Amen. We can trust the God yes. of Moses. Yes. We can trust yes. the God of Abraham. Yes, Lord. We can trust the God yes. of Grandma yes. and Granddaddy. Yes. We can trust the God. Yes, Lord. God can yes. and God will. Yes, he will. He will work it out. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is our God. Yes, Lord. I said the Lord is yes. our God. Thank and you. besides him, Thank you, Lord. there is Thank no you, Lord. other. What Thank to do about God? Thank you, Lord. Love Him. Thank you. With all your heart. Thank you, Lord. Love Him. Thank you, Lord. With all your mind. Thank you. Love Him. Thank you, Lord. With all your soul. Thank you. Love Him. Hallelujah. With all your might. Thank you, Lord. Love Him. Thank by you. By showing Him how you love your name. Thank you, Lord. Love Him. Thank you, Lord. By serving Him. Thank you. Love Him. Thank you, Lord. By telling somebody Thank else, you, I love you. Thank you, Lord. Who woke you up this morning? Thank you, Lord. Who Thank did you, Lord. it? God did it. Who is going to take you back home and say Who will do it? Thank God will do it. Yes, Lord. What Thank did you do about God? I don't know Thank about you, Lord. but I love it. I love it. Thank you, Lord. I love it. Thank you, Lord. you don't God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. There are a lot of people that may not in this church. Jesus. But there are a lot of people in there now who don't know what to do. They're in there talking about who should I vote for? I don't know who will bring us through. Nobody's going to bring you through. Biden can't bring you through. No, he can't. Trump certainly can't bring you through. But God, same God who brought you this very privilege, he can bring you through. So if you're here this morning, and you're wondering what to do about God, I want you to come. Thank you, I'm Lord tell you Jesus. What to do. Tell him you love it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tell him he's your all in all. Thank you. Tell him that you're going to serve him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tell him that you're going to love your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You That's a fire for him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why don't you come and tell him? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Lord, not my name. Not a friend.
shout glory. 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 Why don't you say, it's you, Lord. Yes, it's you, Lord. Yes. And it's me. Standing. And the need of prayer. Against your divine majesty, provoking most unjustly the wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent. Are you sorry for these eyes? Yes. Remember some of them as previous eyes to us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most of Father, Son of our Lord Jesus Christ, is saved. Forgive us all that is past. Now we shall consecrate the element because everyone have the elements. If you do not have the elements, please raise your hand. Almighty God, who of your tender mercy did give us your only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby an oblation of himself, was offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice. Oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and did institute in his holy gospel, commanding us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receiving these your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institute, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who on the same night that he was betrayed, he took the bread and put the bread into your hand. And when he had given thanks, he blessed it and he broke it. He says, take, eat. This is my body that was broken for you. As often as you shall eat it, do it in remembrance of me. Let's partake the broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We eat it with thanksgiving in our heart and in remembrance of him. Likewise at the supper, took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, says, drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament that was shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. As often as you shall drink it, do it in remembrance of me. Let us partake of the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Drink it with thanksgiving in your heart and in remembrance of him. Let us, while we're standing, enter into the All Father prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now enter to our Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. 
the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. Give a lot of hand praises. He is ready to leave this place. But know what is Glorifying him by once again entering into our doxology. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures.